How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Dragtoon video. This is your boy Mars. Today, as you guys see in the background, got for you guys the C63 Black Series from 2012. Really, really nice car. I actually honestly forgot to tune this car and just realized that I did. So I'm going to make you guys a real nice tune for it that I got for you guys here. I'm going to show you guys the full build and how to launch it and all that good stuff. So like always, everybody new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Let's get right to it. So as you guys see, 2012, got the Coupe Black Series. Let's go right over here to the upgrades, custom upgrades. And then you get an engine swap, but we're not going to engine swap it at all. We're going to leave the original engine. would give us uh, 1,002 horsepower, 857 on that torque. Weighs 3,000 pounds, though. Um, rear wheel drive, of course. I did go wide body kit for wider tires, and uh, that is it with that. So let's go over here to uh, the, as you guys can see, the drivetrain is rear wheel drive. The car is twin turbo on that, and then I went full wide body kit. So went all that route there. Now let's go right over here to the build. Let's uh, pretty, pretty much just fully built it. Just slap everything on there. Race, very nice and easy. So I'm going to show you guys all the parts that I put on the car. Um, still cannot, I think I'm probably going to end up doing a, another profile so that I am able to put the share codes. Um, I haven't been able to put share codes because I am uh, reach my max on tunes and paints and all this good stuff and cars and reach my max. So I probably got to just do another profile, I guess. Um, so let's fully load it up here, guys. Fully, fully, fully load it up. As you guys see, put everything on there. Race. Uh, allowed to go over here to the suspension. We've got those brakes on there. Got the rally on the suspension. That soft suspension is very, very, very good. Uh, and besides that, we're going to weight reduction. Uh, no row cage. No need for that. And then put all of the other parts race. Now let's go uh, right over here. And same concept. We're just going to go race on everything. Um, went with this transmission just so that you guys can use the rest of the gears. And normally I use a four speed if I'm doing a quarter mile, um, but not for this tune here, just so that you guys can have freedom to uh, do whatever you want with the car. Uh, drag tires, make sure to put those and not the semi slicks. Uh, on the front, leave it alone at 255, and then the rear, got a little bit wider at 345s in the rear. Uh, and then any wheels you guys like that are super lights, I think I got uh, like whole shots or something rather. Let me see, I think there are whole shots. Um, yep, got some uh, whole shot wheels on there, and that is it. The size of the wheels, leave them alone, no need for that. And all you can do here is take off that little spoiler there, um, or you can put the black series spoiler on there, which I love the look on that spoiler, but not going to do it. I'm just gonna leave it alone, and that is it. Let's go right to the tune, guys. So we got 30 in the front, 15 in the rear, full, full, full maxed out grip there. And then at 1.50 to 60, 3.50 to 100, traps around 262. Here goes the gears, guys. Final drive is 220, first gear is 4, uh, second gear is 270, third gear is 2, fourth gear is 155, 125, 1, and then 0. 90. So there goes all the gears there. Let's show you everything so you guys can adjust it, make it quicker, do whatever you guys want with the gears. Now everything else is zeroed out on 7. 65 65 soft in the front stiff in the rear at 420 doesn't have to be exactly the same number uh, But 420 was a pretty good number there if it uh, if it does spin on you or whatnot You can go a little bit lower I'll make it a softer so we can uh, absorb that launch and then make sure to raise the car all the way up at 5.9 uh, Then we got 1991 nice equal distribution there with the uh, bump and rebound stiffness there Nothing with this or this and a hundred and a hundred. So you want that opened up there and that is it. Let's bring it outside for a nice little spin and then show you guys how to launch it. So let's bring it outside here. Hopefully the weather is good. It's been raining. Lots of rain and there you go. It is raining right now. But got it yellow <laughs> with the blacked out wheels, carbon fiber on the hood. Um, can't go wrong with the wide body kit there. It is raised because I have to for the have a way better launch but lower it looks really really nice especially this is a nice car for roll racing as well um, but 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Super excited with this year, 2023. Um, supposedly, we're going to get motorsports. So, really excited for motorsports. It's going to be really nice. Hopefully, they got real in depth with tuning um, and also grips and stuff like that with these cars. So, it's going to be really, really awesome. And I'm, I'm super excited to uh, play motorsports. Um, try to see if I can get a better PC with better graphics just so that it, everything looks sharp. And, you know, I know that they're, that game is going to be really, really nice attention to detail when it comes to the cars and all that good stuff. So, here we go, guys. Let's go to the quarter mile. This is a quarter mile tune. You guys can use it for the half a mile if you want. Um, but the quarter mile is going to be right over here. This pole right here to the left is the actual quarter mile pole. Um, so to launch a car is very easy with this one. All you have to do is press e-brake and gas. And that's it. You can launch it there with e-brake and gas. Um, real cool things. Rule of thumb is always to burn out the car. Get the tires hot. Uh, but as you guys see, it's full wet right now on the floor. So it's not going to grip. But you can do these kind of reverse forward burnouts. Um, but really likes to just do e-brake and gas. See, e-brake and gas. It'll hold right there at 17 pounds of boost, 2,900 RPMs. Torque is 857 on that torque. So real nice amount of torque coming out the line. And then when you launch it, you're just gonna, you know, transition the rest of the gears. Very nice and smooth. Finishing off there for gear like 166, 165. Um, especially when the floor is, of course, not wet. But yeah, overall, overall, really, really nice car. Um, been used, I used this car a lot when I was in the, the older games. And uh, it's just like a car that a lot of people just don't, you know, because there's other like muscle cars that are quicker, of course. Um, but you racing, everybody racing the same car like this would be really, really cool. Especially bringing something out like this, you know, for drag racing would be awesome. So yeah, real, real nice and easy. Make sure to do the e-brake gas, and then you let go of the e-brake, and then you can just transition those gears. Of course, when um, the road is uh, cleared up, it'll grip for you. And that will sum up everything. Um, hope you guys like the car. Hope you guys subscribe, enjoy, and I'll see all you guys around with another Dragson video. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye now.